Welcome back to our channel. I'm Phil, and shortly I will be joined by Jen. Together, we are Gen T. We specialize in bringing you fine tasting grade Chinese tea. That's right, fine tasting grade Chinese tea. Sorry, I'm a little bit Broadway. Because I did this. Fine tasting grade Chinese tea. <laughs> Do you want to bump me out of the no, frame? No, no, no. I want to be as close as possible without our legs met, our legs hitting. That's oh. good. You're crowding the main brewery. Brewery? I'm crowding brewer. the main brewer. Brewer. I'm the brewer. standby brewer. I'm the if main she brewer. gets taken out, I take over the brewing to make sure the tasting video goes on. <laughs> Hopefully she will not be taken out. We don't know. <laughs> this is a serious it's tasting a violent video. neighborhood. <laughs> it's not really. Not really. Hey parents, welcome back Wait to... a sec, I don't think I should put my arm here. What? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think people would know. Let me know in the comments below if you thought my arm looked bad up there. <laughs> Which you can't see. Too but, hairy. <laughs> but you can see the uh, posture was off. Off? Okay, okay. <sighs> hey friends. Hey friends. <laughs> Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back. Uh, today is an interesting tasting video. We will be tasting a uh, Shen Po Er Tuo. Mm -hmm. Delicious. And, uh, with, uh, as you probably know, might have known. You might know. You're gonna know now. <laughs> yes, that we got COVID a few weeks ago. Yay. And then- First me, then Jeff. Followed by me. That's going to become important. Yes, because <laughs> so we're we're pretty much uh, fully ninety nine percent well except the taste bud and the smell sense of smell. Yeah. So so this is right as you can imagine <laughs> for us. This we heard about this side effect, right? And it is potentially devastating for us. Mm. Like we have to be able to taste tea. Yes. So. So he's uh, mostly well, mostly well. I think so. We're gonna. That's what out. he thinks. Uh, we don't know. Like it's hard to say if your senses are fully back. Yeah. I know I'm not fully back because uh, you know tea tree oil smell like gas. A lot of green veggies smell like gas. I mean everything smell like gas. Like uh, when she says gas, she means um, oh the, the, the propane, propane gas, like natural gas. That's right. Mm, like um, you know stinky. Yeah, and I had a, a almost a week. I couldn't drink tea because everything tastes super sweet, and I don't like my tea sweet. So uh, this will be interesting with the people, normal people tasting. Maybe, and I hope so. All the tasting and we will see what's the difference because I found this whole loss of the smell, loss of the uh, taste experience actually very interesting and intriguing for someone like me who is actually very, very obsessed with the, the whole yeah. tasting. Tuned in. Right. So let's get the kettle on. Mr. Phil, oh. how, do you, <laughs> how do you feel as a rare guest to this channel? To be reappear in front of the camera. Oh <laughs> yeah, I was like, what do you mean a rare guest? But you're right, you've done right? a lot of videos. See, check out the videos. Gonna raise the... Recent right. videos, some great um, sort of blog learning-ish videos. Um, I'm not gonna put them in the links down below. You're already on YouTube, check out the channel. You did some fantastic stuff. Um, Just gonna how to brew rock tea. Um, help me out a little bit. I don't want to help you okay. out. <laughs> no, no. Just, just check them out. There's a bunch. Okay, okay. No, I put, uh, our, I put both of us on this one. Just wanted to say that, hey, somebody didn't watch my video enough. Bing, bing, bing. Oh, do you remember other topics? No, you don't. <laughs> it's okay. I'm the one who uh, posts them on social media, so I know all. You're right, you're right. We have a labor of division. Division of labor. Yes. Anyway, that. So uh, I did uh, some videos on, I think, Da Hong Pao to explain mm -hmm. a little bit of the situation mm. and uh, how to drink with Gaiwan. 
uh, which I really like that video and how to brew Shampoor. Oh, today we're brewing a Shampoor, the tool. I think I mentioned that before. Mm -hmm. um, so, Super this cute. is the first time I brew this tour. 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 <laughs> tour. That's a Beijing tour. L lately, I, my tongue has always like a rear Canadian store. <laughs> Sorry. But this is a tour. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to know you're talking about the real Canadian superstar. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, right. so, yeah, sorry. But yeah, trouble. We had some trouble with the tongue loose. No, I, I think also possibly, but yeah, we blame everything on COVID. Yeah. So this is a tool. <laughs> and I think you wanted to say it's the first time you brew it in this In vessel, this teapot. In this teapot. Yes, in this teapot. Uh, so I always say that when you are about to brew, you got to check on the tea itself to figure out mm. how uh, how uh, press it yeah, is. How compressed is, yes. the, is, the, is the pressing? Yes. <laughs> we're drunk. Um, we're not. This is morning, okay? This is morning, we're not yet drunk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't generally. You might be drunk. kicked out from video shoot from now. Uh, I think, uh, hopefully, you guys, if you like, if you love this banter, put a comment down below so I don't get kicked out of future videos. Otherwise, right. I, I think I'm going so. Right. So, uh, why I mention this is I found this tea when I brew that with a really small guy one. I Me. have a, yes, please. I have an issue kind of keep up with its unfolding speed. Mm -hmm. So, it's pretty challenging. You have to be really stay on. Also, <laughs> what was that? No, I wanted to. So, you started with. You know, that was kind of tea in, that dropped off of his head. Yeah, no, I was making sure all the tea went in, but I just want to say that the comment was to kind of inspect the pressing to see mm. what your what you might expect. Mm -hmm. But I think in right. it... Because and that needs experience. Honestly, you're not going to just uh, see a tea and realize oh, it's a fall apart in my hand. You need some uh, experience to know what's the linkage between this look, this press, vis-a-vis... Well, -vis it's I just want to make okay. a confession though. Okay. I don't inspect the puck before. Mm -hmm. I never did. So I inspect this one and if I was just didn't know anything about this tea, I would guess it's, oh, that's pretty pressed. Probably going to be slow. So also pay attention once you're brewing it because I think, well, we'll see, but we'll see what happens. But I think this one's going to... I don't smell up. anything. Oh, let me check. So... Oh, sorry. Yeah. Same. It's, oh, a, okay. it's, it's a pressed tea, so I'm right. not I'm not overly shocked. I I believe I have my sense of smell pretty much fully back. My sense of taste. Um, often with pressed teas, I won't get much aroma even if it's warmed. This isn't a, a guy one is a little bit better for sending the heat in. I feel like this might be a bit open and airy, so maybe they, they mm -hmm. don't even warm up much. But yes, not much aroma. Anything on the lid? Toothpaste. Not much for me. I do get that little sweet. <laughs> yeah, sweet. The toothpaste a toothpaste sweet. Sweetness, with a little minty flavor. So, this is the funny part, okay? Didn't get the minty flavor. No, I, Not much. Yeah. Why I found this, why I want to do this topic, this video. At this time, with at your At this time, while well, I'm really off, right? The tea tree oil smell like gas. I know I'm crazy. Kind of it. So, is a. I was thinking because uh, we might have lost the sense of smell when we were having a cold and the nose is blocked and uh, mm -hmm. it kind of uh, we're okay because oh I'm blocked so I don't smell it kind of I feel like consciously I was never so odd feeling but this time I my nose is totally fine my mouth I don't have sore throat I don't have any issue but it just uh, nothing is there so I was like, oh, wow, this is really, really odd for me. What I noticed is even though I have no taste, no smell at that time, I still know the texture. Mm -hmm. I can, all I can feel from food is the texture difference. Absolutely no taste difference. Then as I'm uh, recovering, what I notice is it's odd. It's not like I taste 10% of the regular flavor. The regular flavor, right? Ten percent of a beef flavor, ten percent of lasagna yeah. flavor. Not at all. It's, everything is odd. So, and that reminds me of early times, especially like, uh, you know, when we do tea festivals early times in the states, 
we would have a lot of people where it's like, uh, I don't taste much from the tea. Mm -hmm. It was, uh, you know, I understand, I can imagine that the people who don't taste tea were not into tasting from those things. Elusive? Hard to access? Or not, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know. The, but now I'm thinking, what if some people might not be as sensitive? We don't know if it's the receptor, like the taste buds right. are less Similar to your current condition. Yeah, or or somewhere in between. the nerves between my taste buds are okay, but to my brain, there's some interruption. Mm -hmm. Like that's, it's, the whole topic is just very fascinating to yeah, me. Yeah, we've always assumed it's kind of, and especially me, I was, I totally relate to those people from early times when I first got into the tea business, mm. I didn't really know what and was I going think on. because of you, I just uh, always believe mm, it's because right. they're just not consciously trying once you right. get and to tasting it. We have a great video yeah. on how to taste, which sound might sound ridiculous. Check it out. It was a game changer for me. Um, so we've always been in that mode, right? Yeah. Where we think it, this is a, something you can learn. And I really encourage people because I, it excites mm. me. It opens up a world of flavor to everybody. It, at least we think. But maybe there yes. are people who are... Now that we've had this COVID experience right. where just everything went away. You want to try? Yes, please. Okay. Do you taste the, uh, do you take the, the filter out? I don't use this so much. I, when mm. I use that, I usually just leave the basket in. But this tea, I want to take it out because of the color. Yeah. I don't want it to keep yeah, steaming. Yeah, no, we it, don't want right? to do that. Um, this has some nice hay notes. Mm -hmm. For me, it's really date, oh, date okay, prune. Myself. Yeah, a little bit of date prune, like a little bit of that um, dried stone fruit and um, with some hay. Right. I'm eager to try it. Mm. The liquor color looks like you nailed it. Really nice. Thank you. Pretty subtle nose. Mm, I don't smell anything. I don't taste anything. <laughs> it has some of that uh, uh, subtle stone fruit, some stu subtle date prunish. Not sweet though, just the flavor but and also light. I'm, I think it might be a light infusion, I'm not sure. It doesn't look it. No. I'm gonna let it cool a bit and see if it... Um... Mm. I don't taste anything. I don't smell anything either. I, just, I know it's a tea. Somehow I know it's tea. I just took a minute to actually breathe, to hold the liquor in my mouth and breathe in and out, and that really opened up um, the flavor profile for me. Uh, more of that um, mm. non-sweet date, if I could say that. I have that sort of dried fruit flavor with some of that... I wouldn't want to call it barnyard. It's not in that domain, but hay. Almost like a, like a dried hay. Mm. Well, this is interesting. I was just thinking, how do I know this is not just a hot water? I know, even though I don't taste a mm. thing at all. I think because there's that touch of astringent. Mm. I don't know. What I notice is really when I talk about mouthfeel, it's a literate mouthfeel. It's a different, uh, it's not a taste. Mm -hmm. It's the feeling, right? It's there like is some thick. texture here. Yeah, like yeah. astringent is also not a taste per se, like a you know, tomato flavor, strawberry flavor, but uh, a sensation on your tongue that gets things a little bit uh, mm. tied up or something. Because I really don't taste any food. Like mm. flavor-wise, nothing. A little sweetness is starting to shine through. Mm. And no smell. I have to admit, I still agree about the liquor, um, straight up aroma very faint for me um, but I've got plenty of um, plenty once you drink it you have a lot plenty right? of yeah and if I breathe over the liquor in my mouth I have that concept of aroma and flavor mm. Uh, mm. those again uh, stone fruits hay 
Right. I'm so, looking for some other metaphors for that, but I'm really uh, coming well, up. Well, you're, you're doing great because I'm like totally. But I also notice it's a different. Uh, I don't know, different part of the 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 system that is working or something. So when I smell that, it's absolutely. I wouldn't know I'm smelling something at all. Oh, might be a hint of something. It's very like I would say it's closer to zero in terms of the smell. But when I have a sip and I breathe out from my nose, I know there's a smell. I don't know what it is, but I feel like there's a smell. I think what make my brain kind of know, okay, we're not just having hot water, is because of mini astringent. And when I, because I have a habit mm -hmm. of breathing mm -hmm. out through my nose, and there's a tease of a, oh, there's an aroma, but we don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. It's really fun. Interesting, huh? But hopefully not too scary. <laughs> are you, are you, does it make you nervous? Or are you pretty confident in everything? Look, else? early times when I first lost my taste and stuff, it was really insecure. You know mm. why you cannot, <laughs> why you cannot smell your own fart? That <laughs> lowers my happiness level. Okay, oh. don't laugh at me. <laughs> Everybody do that. Just admit it or not, but it's okay. <laughs> Maybe it's just me, but it's very important. Okay, for me. <laughs> and then you realize that you don't know what's happening. Mm. You it's a real blind it. spot. Yeah, yeah, and uh, for me, it's very insecure. And I used to be those people who have a very sensitive sense of smell and taste, especially smell, I would say. Mm. And that's just... Well, a, really the whole package. Right? Yes. I have some food because of COVID, or I have food in the fridge. I don't know if they went bad or mm -hmm. not. It's in that kind of, it looks okay, but all times, that's how I use the smell. I know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Not anymore for a while. But now I know I'm recovering. I'm getting used to this kind of, okay, I'm dull in this area, mm -hmm. but pretty much every day I see a little bit of progress, so I'm like, oh, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. So it would be interesting if you have an experience with a loss of taste and smell, mm. whether it's COVID induced or otherwise, we'd love mm. to hear about your experience. Mm. So for sure, leave a comment down below because it's, uh, it's been weird and interesting for sure. Yes. I think if you are also uh, love to taste different things and stuff, uh, this experience is actually, I don't know, scary mm -hmm. but really fun, especially when I know I can recover. It would be pure scary if I'm like just no progress. But. I just thought of something that might have affected our experience with this mm. too, which is when we lost our sense of smell and taste, we were not feeling well at all. So was for me i almost did no i'll be i'll be honest i didn't notice i yes, actually I, first. I right, didn't right. notice that i had lost yes. my sense because i was pretty miserable and i had but other priorities the when you lose on the way back it, right it became more obvious but yeah but the thing is when you lose the sense of uh, smell and taste you don't really know it first because your brain for the past 30 50 years yeah we know we can taste so it must be this thing that doesn't taste. It yeah. must be this thing that doesn't smell. And that's that what I was saying. Smell. I was blaming everything <laughs> yeah. else. Oh, this doesn't smell. Oh, this is something thing. And didn't even think, oh, maybe you're offline. Right. Which right. I was. You're right. right. I know my taste was off because that afternoon I remember I was sitting outside trying to recover with my fever, uh, have a sun bath and drinking a thermos of black tea and I have cup by cup and that black tea, the taste started to be very, very sweet. Yeah. Which I was like, oh, must and be the told, thermos, right? Yeah. I told you. Well, you said that to me on a couple occasions. Yeah, yeah. She's, we're having shu and she even tapped out, which she never does on yeah. evening tea. Yeah. This tea is too sweet. I don't want it. I thought, oh, did I infuse it wrong? Because no. yeah, I tasted normal right. to me. No. And it doesn't have a shu taste. It has no taste except the sweet. And that sweet is not like, you know, mm. the, the, the nice. sweet spring, like a gentle sweet in the water. Like, and not like, like a... You know, milk tea sweet is different. That sweet is almost very thick, like already... Cloying sweet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Which the tea totally like... didn't have. But no. So my, my best guess is everything else was gone. And that is a nice, sweet shupuar. Not overly and not cloying, certainly. Didn't have real... But I think that's all you had was yeah. the sweet, I, I think. No, I but when I, I... I don't know how that worked. Because when I have the tea itself, I never describe that tea as sweet. I did. 
hear people talk about the tea being sweet. Mm. Right, so now I'm just because this process. Now I'm rethinking all the interactions I've had with people talking about different tastes. Mm. Sometimes I'm just in awe, like I couldn't understand. Sometimes how they just uh, describe a tea, I could uh, rewire myself and say, "Oh, that's what mm. they're trying to describe." So now I'm like, "Oh, maybe just because we're never gonna taste the same." Mm -hmm. or feel the same because our taste buds are just wired yeah. differently. Yeah, we all, we've always really respected and loved the individuality of the perception of taste. It's a really unique experience for each individual and that's why we try to describe tea, which is tricky but still helpful sometimes. But what this has emphasized is the dynamic mm. nature of taste, one day to the mm. next, and hopefully not so drastic as right. your case person or my to case. Person in person to person. And Person, one person over time is shifting yeah. too. Yeah. Okay, let's do the second. Group. Yeah, can I have a quick? Can yes. I have a quick smell of the leaf. Yes. <sighs> I cannot smell. <laughs> Just want to think to participate. Yeah, it's a little, a little more grape leaf aroma than uh than I got initially. I remember okay. it was a little. Is that a gentle tartness? I smell yeah, those awesome. uh, like uh, stone fruit tartness, very, mm -hmm. very light to me. I'll, I'll try it again after it's reheated. Mm -hmm. I'm really enjoying this tea. It's, uh, it's a really clean flavor. Um, it took me a while to tune into it, but mm. it did dial in, and well, I'm really excited for the second infusion because I want to see how this tea develops. I think it's going right. to be interesting. Yeah. Um, well, I, what I can feel is really, really minor astringent. In terms of a shampoo, that's, pretty, astringent, that's pretty much all you're getting. Yeah. And it is minor. Yeah. Like the astringency is, there's a little bit of that. Um, Should be really even less for you because you have flavor on top of that's it. That's right. It's, it's, really ma it's really matched. The, the flavor profile is really matched with the level of astringency to make this a really round and enjoyable tea. I'm trying to think of where I would use it if I was going to pair it with something, which we honestly pretty rarely do, but uh, mm. except after meals. Right, right. This would be a great tea, I think, after a big, heavy meal. You know, if your tummy's really full, really refreshing. If you eat a lot of meat, like I would mm -hmm. go, I always mm -hmm. go for shampoo if I eat a lot of meat yeah. and feel like oh, yeah. a little bit breezed out. Oh, and the other thing I would definitely use this tea for is any sort of travel, because it's so cute and small and compact and tough. Mm. You don't really need a protective tin or anything. These little guys, I go camping with these. I throw them in a ziploc. I throw them in a backpack. And they're great. They're not smashed because they're nicely pressed. So great for travel too. A little bit like a bone soup. <laughs> oh, nice. Very odd tasting. Like my tasting those are pretty much is like useless. A little tobacco-y. Yeah. A little tart tobacco-y on the lid. Quite okay. nice. Mm. So I have to say I haven't brewed tea much lately because the taste issue, you really feel like a driving blind. Mm. So, because it's very important for me to taste this infusion to decide how am I going to brew the next infusion because mm -hmm. I can mm -hmm. tailor to the tea. Now, because I don't taste the thing, I just feel like, because subconsciously, if I don't taste it much, I just feel like I brew that too light, right? And that's why I go for a heavier, Infusion, and we've noticed that uh, some sometimes we have morning teas and sit there all day. At the end of the day, I was like, "Oh, I don't want to throw those. So let me just chop the tea." And he would say that tea is too, too strong because it's been sitting there all day. And I'm like, mm. I don't taste much, so I'm okay with that to finish it. Mm. So. What I'm trying to say is I'm wondering if this will be a little bit too much for you. We'll or... see. We'll see. It does look, it's definitely darker than the first infusion. Not a big shocker. The, the tea's all opened up now. Yeah. The smell to is changed to, I know there's a smell, but I still don't know anything in terms of what kind of smell. It's really light. I mean, I have to say the... Um, a little bit sweet potato. The liquor aroma really isn't jumping out at me either. Uh, the leaf aroma, however, after it's heated, 
So I mentioned grape leaves when it was cooled, so it was fully cooled when I first smelled. Now it's heated, it's back to that more hay, a little bit of animal, a little jungly, once it's warmed back up, the leaf. Mm. So we'll see. I really don't have much aroma on the liquor. I think all I smell is that kind of a dried mm. fruit, yeah. dried stone this fruit. This is a potent infusion. Though. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, not, no, it's not bad. bad. No, no, it's not bad. I, I don't mind the tea with some variants, Very. the strong or weak. I love this. This is, this is really like... You're getting something, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's I great. choose a mm. raw mm. saucer. <laughs> right, you have to hold it really flat. Yeah, 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 a little bit tilted and it's a mess. It's, it's a that kind of a smell I, and taste I would love, the, which is the dried stone fruit that Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's a, it's a little bit of festival because uh, normally you wouldn't think of a dried fruit too much, but uh, during the festival, you know, Thanksgiving or Christmas, mm -hmm. you might put those on cakes and decoration mm. like cranberry sauce. Right, right. The, sorry, I was a little bit distracted mm -hmm. because I'm really trying to lean into the flavors here. We've got the uh, the strength is much more, the astringency is a little bit more present. It's not causing me to pucker though. It's just a little bit, um, in fact, I'm not even, I'm getting a really quick return sweet, a nice splash in my mouth. A splash, what does that mean? It means my mouth, the astringency is actually cleaning up really quickly. It's not lingering, but, and then I'm salivating and I'm getting a little sweetness coming out. This has um, gas flavor. <laughs> More uh, smells, gas. Like, smells like um, <laughs> um, natural gas or... Yeah, the propane, the propane. really faint propane smell. <laughs> there is no, there is no propane smell to this tea, just so you know. If you just jumped into this moment in the video, go back and check the backstory of what's going on. Here. Yeah. Mm. Maybe I that's the strength, a... maybe because it's stronger, there's more there, but you're mm -hmm. just not able to grab those other elements. It's so bizarre. Like, I didn't have time yet to really look into that, but I hope I can have time to look into this. Mm. The smell, taste, the wire with my brain. Like, mm. I would imagine I should have the, you know, the lighter version of this tea, not a total wackadoo smell or taste of this tea. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I can tell it's a stronger brew. This astringency didn't jump much for me at all. It's a, I, but oh, that's interesting. It's a little bit astringent. It wasn't like, oh, this is astringent. It's a mm. sure tea. No, it's a it's a little bit more intense, but it's the texture. Mm. Mm. For me, the texture it becomes a little bit thicker. So mm. obviously, COVID destroys the taste side, but not the sensory like the the the, the touch. Yeah. I think it's that. mostly in the smell, even. Because even some taste is, I don't yeah. know, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think you nailed the intensity versus astringency comment. Um, it's more. It's really not that astringent. Yeah, no, there's no pucker. Oh. There's just it's, it's bold. Just it's bold. bold now. Yeah. Okay. The For me, it's a thicker. It's a thicker mystery. texture that I can. Oh, and the bottom Sorry. cup, the empty cup, is really delightful. I can't think of a word for it, but it's really wonderful. Suddenly, I feel kind of a, a little bit jealous. Like, I'm just drinking this right, and somebody's right. having fun. She sometimes describes it as sort of stinky flowers. When you know, you have some flowers that are really lovely smelling and some that are a little bit more pungent. There's a little pungency to the bottom cup and a little bit of like, I don't want to say burnt sugar, it's not really burnt sugar, but a little bit of that, like some kind of a sweetness to the pungency. Mm, that's really nice. Let's try the lid, the opposite. Mm. So that's the bottom cup, let's go back to the lid. Oh, stinky flower! Right, I told you. This is Really light. You know, the, 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 the powder. This has a, a, another type of, again, I, I'm going to say... Why smell that? I'm going to say floral, but it's nothing like a oolong floral or a green tea floral. This is more like the high end of the bottom cup, like it's got some... Is my super 
like a really flower no, pollen. Same, same, similar to mine. Like, okay, okay. Thank heavens. <laughs> <laughs> Just then the what? pollen kind of thing. Is it too yeah. strong? No, no, it's, I wouldn't say it's too strong. Okay. In fact, earlier I was talking about where I might use the tea. Okay. If I was brewing this for after a meal, I would go for this strength. Mm. You know, at a tea table... Especially if it's a candy meal. <laughs> <laughs> it's no. super salty and thick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they don't tend okay, to be as heavy though. Can... We tend to not... You never get stuffed when you're camping because you're so hungry. Oh, you're so right. I don't know about that. But... Um, but the first infusion was more like what a, maybe a tasting infusion, more subtle, a little bit more elegant, a little bit more kind. This is not a mean infusion, but it's more, it can, it, this one's going to stand up to a meal. On the, after the first infusion, when I was recommending it after a meal, I was even a little bit on the fence, like, ooh, mm. is it going to make it? Yes, it's going to make right. it. I'm sold now. Right, right. And not to mention, this is the second brew, and this mm -hmm. tea can go for a while. Mm -hmm. like a, yeah. I think a four oh, of this tea pod is no brainer. Mm. The fifth one could need a really longer infusion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which you can always do. Mm -hmm. I right? don't hesitate to really 10, 20 minutes. pull the value out of out of any of the teas that you get from us for sure. And you know, if you, you experiment with them and see if they're still giving and if they're giving something pleasant, that's the mm. key. That's the key factor, which shows quality. I shouldn't sing in the middle of a, of a talk. I don't, know. I don't know, maybe they didn't understand. I'll put the major, like, big letters. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. Big letters, okay. So you can sing the whole time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Broadway tea tasting. Right? <laughs> then we gotta do that now. Give us a thumb up and a comment if you want to see want a to see Broadway that. tea tasting. Huh? No, we're we're going to do it. We, I? Yeah, we'll do no. choreography and everything. Yeah, yeah. What? She's a very good singer. I'm not good at a spin in the chair like you, though. Oh, true. I'm, I'm getting, dizzy. Oh, you know what? That's a good what? point. This tea is also pretty peppy. Like, I am... I was pretty chill when we started mm -hmm. the video, and I do feel a little energy boost. So, you know, that mm. could be another good use for this tea, you know, if you need a little... Especially, you know, if you're a student or you're trying to get a, a work deadline or something and you don't want a coffee. Mm. I mean, I, I, don't, I wouldn't have this right before bed, right. but it could be good for that. Um, tea has that great... Oh, one of the videos she did, L-theanine. Tea has this great... Um, is that right? That's an older video. You did it's one older, on kidney. It's older, but it is still. Kidney and cal... Uh, for, okay, so anyway, just check it out. Okay, don't try. <laughs> anyway, um... Oh, I'm yeah. a little bit... I guess I was a little bit, like, not happy that he ditched me on doing tasting much. Good fo good tea focuses <laughs> and gets you energetic. So, could be, yeah. could be used for effect and it would be a pleasant flavor as well. Mm. Right, it's so fun to have you here, okay? I think you guys agree, let me know. Let us know. So that I can force him to do more tasting video and other video with me. I think I'm... I gonna... love doing that, so... Right. I, mean, I, I think I you're gonna take forced. over the scientific, uh, you know, the chemical part of the tea, because it takes me so long to shoot, because there's a... All the words, right? Like long, long, the long, long, long words. They're even tricky <laughs> I, for everyone. I just read it, I couldn't. Not to mention, I gotta talk it out as if like I can pronounce this long. Well, we're going to brew, keep on brewing this, but I think that's a wrap for the tasting video. It was really interesting to hear your experience with the loss <laughs> of taste. Um, for me, the tea is a hit. Mm. I just love it. Um, standalone, after a meal, traveling to boost my energy, which it clearly has done. Um, <laughs> no, a great sip, uh, stone fruit, date, um, nice development. Um, yeah, I love, love it. I'm gonna try and integrate this tea into my... I have trouble getting shampoo into my daily routine, to be honest. In morning, it's a little bit too much, and then evening, it's kind of off, but I'm gonna try. I think after, you know, the... the Holiday sauce, what's the meal called? Mmm, eggs benny. Eggs benny, that should be really good because mm. you have a lot of heavy things. Lots of heaviness, yeah. Mm. Uh, I had fun sharing with you my really odd uh, tasting experience. Uh, guaranteed the tea doesn't taste like uh, propane gas, but if you taste that, let me know. That would be really 
really like interesting to see how different people have different tastes in terms of mm. the same kind of tea. Um, yeah, I'm really happy to be back in front of uh, the camera shooting videos. I kind of miss this because uh, being sick is boring, right? And painful. And painful, and yeah. painful, yes. Obviously. So, um, so, so. Well, I was just want to say, uh, <laughs> I don't know, the Christmas season is coming up, mm. the whole holiday, uh, holiday season is coming up. If you want to do, uh, if you want to see more video from us, just a light chit chat with tea and stuff, uh, let us know in the comment below. Um, yeah, sure. We've, be even, really fun. we've even done some holiday live sessions, so if you'd like to see those, mm. leave a comment. We may be able to be coaxed mm. into that. And topics you want to see us do. or. Yeah. Uh, you know, you guys give me lots of inspirations to do uh, various videos. I always rely on you uh, to, you know, pr like do the contents that's what you're looking for. So yeah. never hesitate. We don't, don't know if you don't tell to... us. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so if you like this video, please guys, <laughs> give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow and thrive. Check the links down below if you want to try this tea out. Um, click that little notify bell so you'll know whenever we make new content. And as always, until next time, keep steeping. Keep steeping. Good job. Mm. You Have are wonderful. Don't play. Oh, I'm going to. That looks so delicious. <laughs> See, told you we were going to keep going. The slots are really slow, huh? Yep. Perfect. I think it's in out. Mm, I think so. <laughs> I think so. The second and the third infusion of this is usually pretty potent. Yeah. And delicious. I oh, it wasn't say. so strong for me at all. Like I don't taste much. Oh, it's not overly strong, okay. but the flavor on the first infusion was really. Was it too light? I don't think it was too light, but it was. It wasn't as bold as the second. The like, second, I, I can see the color being really bold. Yeah. I was feeling the first one was too light, so I'm like, oh, push a little bit, yeah, see how that hard, goes. The but I, I think that this so might be fast. a better color I would like. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, I this looks sick. like it's down the center, actually, yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see how it went. Mm -hmm. Mm. Right down the center. I don't taste much. The, the, okay. the texture not, level is similar not right to down the center. One. It's it's closer to two, oh, but, yeah? it's, but it's not at two. Oh, okay, okay. For me, Just the texture say. level is close to one. Two is really thick, and I kind of if you ask me to choose among all teas, I can tell. Okay, that is a pour. Because mm. somehow it's not a wudong. It does have a nice pruar thickness though. This even this. Infusion. Why do I think it's not a wudong? Even though I don't taste it, it's a rabbit hole of those interesting questions. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know, my subconscious is doing the process and feeding me. Hey, this is that. But yeah. I don't really. But you're have right. A... Pruar has a real different mouthfeel, and then this is right? it. It's that sort right? of almost more like a blanket than a. That it, that oolong would be like a sheer piece of silk, you know, like almost see-through. It does have a feel, but this is almost Carrier. like a, a blanket. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Has a little bit. It's just a, for me, it's sensationally different. That's nice. Nice. It will do at least at least one more. Four, you were right, four easy. Right? Probably I think five four or six. Is five. Probably six is probably five. the push. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Maybe five. Yeah. It's hard to say sometimes. A lot of times when the tea like uh, unfolds so fast to fall apart, I feel like they're gonna die in two infusions, two mm -hmm, three mm -hmm, infusions. Mm -hmm. And right? sometimes they are a bit steeper on the end. Yes. Right. But this seems to be fine. Even this shun and shu bowls, I found like. Mm. Pretty good in terms of ending, and yeah. it's not yeah. overly short. Yeah, I'm always shocked because I always feel like the shoe's just gonna drop out because it's so giving. Right? And then, Especially and then, the early infusions. Yeah. You got everything, and I'm like, okay, the yeah. fourth and fifth would be nothing. But mm. no, actually, they go pretty far. Yeah. Like, I'm yeah. impressed.
Let's check that later. Weird. What? Propane? I don't want to say <laughs> propane. It's not propane, but but a little stink, a more stinkiness, like a, that high note stinkiness, not the bottom cup. Oh. I really can't place that. I, it's like some kind of a grassy floral. There's a little, and it's nothing like, like it's so hard to describe. I, if I say floral and people are oolong drinkers or, you know, yeah, or green tea drinkers. No, 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 no. It's not that kind well, of This floral. is a Poland stinky floral, floral. Yeah, yeah. It's really different. And, and maybe that's because floral's the wrong word, but it does have that. You know, oolong has a lot of liquidy floral. You really and creamier, yeah, liquidy, creamy, creamy, liquidy, yeah. but you feel that way. It's almost like a, like a, you do, uh, you know, like if you're you're doing like a perfume, you got an abstract nose. You feel that kind of a, mm. even just yes. say if they all smell like a rose, right? That's the flavor. But if you just smell the the pollen inside the rose flower, that's actually slightly different. And this is that type of a powdery floral, mm. I think. Oh, this is really, th I, I, I don't know, this is really thick for me. Oh. Really thick, like delightful. Uh, the, uh, oh, interesting, because this one, I don't, I don't describe that as thick. This one for me is silky. The second strong one has a thick because it mm. started to have brothy kind of a thickness. Mm. This ah, is, yeah, I the, see. The other day I was uh, brewing, what was that? Yesterday, I was brewing the aged white tea, and I was like... Oh, right. I was working. I think you fed it to me when I was yes. working, so I didn't really... Yes, I knew it was a white, but I didn't catch well, it was aged. Yeah, but it was dripping. I was thinking, I might do like a collect of 10, 20 teas, just a slow-mo the drip yes. to show what we mean viscosity. Mm. They're like that. Like, you know, if that it's pure cool. water, so don't cool. green tea molds a lot and of... And overlay them. Oh, how would that look like? Mm. I don't know. I'm having a nerd moment because I want to capture the, the the drip rate should match two almost, but not quite. Because yeah. anyway, that would be cool. That would be cool. Yeah. Side by side, not overlay. It'd be hard to see. That's a really cool idea. Twenty slivers of just different cheese drop at the same time. Yeah, and then super slow mo it and line up the drips and show the how they release. Like this guy's off quickly. This guy's hanging, hanging, hanging. Zoom. You know, like elastic, like the thicker ones, the viscous ones should, you know, hang mm. and then release. Whereas mm -hmm. the, the watery, mm -hmm. and have a drip of water as a reference. Yes. There's water on the other side. Yeah. Could be surprising. I could do that. Just taste, it, it just takes some time. And every yeah. one you, every time you brew, you gotta have that. Then there's the issue of like, the brew, right? If you brew a tea stronger and lighter, they're different. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, it's like your pH. Of so you, it's have, a lot yeah, of you work. have to do. You have to say, okay, I'll yeah, do third yeah. infusion, and yeah, you yeah. have to be. Hey, yeah. we're not a scientist. Lighten up. We'll just do our best, mm -hmm. and mostly it'll just be a cool effect. Mm. But it would be a lot of prep. You have to remember every tea. Oh, hang on, I'm going to grab my quick drip video. Oh, yeah, serious. I got to think about how the instrument mm. of that setting is, and keep that consistent so that it yeah. is like. Yeah. So they. So they're not. Yeah, cool. I might want to do it. Please. This lens would be good, Mac. I think it has macro. So. Which one? I think oh, the this cell phone? One. No, this one. The ah. one shooting that. It does. That has macro. That might be a good one. No, that's another more tricky. I felt like the cell phone has the slow mo building. I just use that. I don't have to think too much. That's what use that. And the right. cell phone can get in pretty tight nowadays, too. Yeah, simple and much simpler to just shoot on the fly. All you need to do right. is like, oh, 10 centimeters, good enough. You don't. I'm gonna mention that. I need to set up the. And same. then if you need to come back, yeah, yeah. I was, that was ridiculous. Mmm, I'm gonna do that for fun. I think that's really interesting. I need some um, care. A little manicure again. Okay, what's going on? Because you don't put on hand cream. No, I do. No, but I'm using the low end. Oh. I'm gonna use the high end one for now. On. What's the low end one? The foot cream. Oh, that's, that's not low that. end. That's exceedingly low end. It's like drugstore lotion. And the green one? It's reasonable quality. The pump? Yeah. Oh, that's for me. 